Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome, welcome to the channel. Where are you here? Let me know. Uh, we're checking out today's video thanks to kind donation from Sean and Debbie. Thank you so, so much. Let me read this note. Sean from Albuquerque here. I'm 65 and I've been a drummer for 55 years. Sean, I wanna jam with you. My wife of 30 plus years and I love watching you and your wife. In this suggestion, Sean, you, you mentioned maybe doing a uh, black coffee in 40 days in the hole. Uh, right, right now we're going to do black coffee, but yeah, let me try to get Allie in here for this 40 days in a hole. Humble pie. I have never heard of this group. Like most of the things that we do on here, which has been, you know, probably one of the funnest parts of the channel, right? Humble Pie are an English rock band formed by singer-guitarists Peter Frampton and Steve Marriott in Morton, Essex in 1969. Often regarded as one of the first supergroups in music, Humble Pie experienced minor popularity, commercial sex, uh, success during the 70s. Seems like they've just gone through several evolutions. Let's just check this out. And I want you all to see kind of the, the process here. There are several versions of this. So you, we have a, an album version. I mean, this was the first option, so let's just go with this just in case, okay? Most uh, of the comments on this video are admiration for Steve Marriott, appreciation for the interactions between Marriott and the Blackberries, who are the female vocalists, uh, recognition of his impact, fondness for the old gray whistle test. What in the world is that? Nostalgia for the music. A lot, a lot of you all are, are here experiencing that nostalgia for the music of your time and just want to feel connected to maybe those days, right? So you're wanting to vicariously re-experience some of this music through, through us. And I love that. So let's just check this out. Thank you for clicking on this video. I am incredibly lucky that you just want to be here and so many of you who help out and support my family. But more than anything, I'm grateful that there is a lot of music I haven't experienced yet. Let's check it out. Mm. It's smooth. The sound engineering for the clapping to sound that good. It's well done. Oh gosh, I'm laughing. But my soul is what? Okay, Gunner, I know you're a dog, so you don't understand, but I'm listening to something rad right now, man. I, I need to turn my fan on. It's getting hot in here. My goodness. That's what I'm talking about, dude. These moments right here when something completely unexpected ha like just happens, slaps you in the face, and you're just... My thing with this sort of singing is I don't know how people do it and don't lose their voice. I'm jealous of it. I was... Trained as a singer in high school and thought I learned the right ways to sing to not develop nodes and whatnot. I have them. And so I can't sing like this anymore. Not even close. Not like I ever could. I'm making it sound like I could. But that's where my admiration comes. Because he's not, he doesn't look ultimate ultra young here, but he's just got it, man. And yeah, the, gosh, the soul. This is, this sort of blues. Oh man, it's just... I've noticed it's in the blues that I've witnessed and seen and experienced people's unbelievable talent probably the most and in a way that gets you going like this. Black coffee is my name. Black coffee is not a thing. Black coffee, freshly ground and fully packaged. Hot black coffee, boys. Mm. That's where it's at. Mean it. Because of religious reasons, I can't, I don't drink coffee. 
but I can drink yerba mate. I don't, I don't know. Yerba mate is more my thing. Do you take your, your coffee black? Let me know. You see, my skin is white, but my soul is black. So hot, black coffee, that's where it's at, all right. I miss the days. I feel like you can still say stuff like this, but people are like, oh, can I say that? I feel like that's just, that's admiration it's in its most raw form, you know what I mean? And so I miss the days when that sort of thing was said. Way back, you all know I don't know when. See, I got hung over before I was 10, geez. A lot of do double entendre there, right? Again, they're singing... Uh, the blues, right? So that's where that comes in. But he's also just singing a song about black coffee. You know what I mean? Great, great lyric. They are wonderful, by the way, and beautiful. I grew up uh, when I was young. Last comment before we come in here. I'll say it later. Mm. He's like, I know. Gosh, he's good. It's a cup of black coffee that a wacky man used to feed him. Over there in America, it's the land of the free. Mm. You get what you want, and you got to know what it is. Time to fly, and a wet life is safe. Now I'm in the kingdom, and I'm in the land. I'm in the kingdom. So this is Steve Marriott. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Oh, I freaking love it. Yeah. That is where it's at. <laughs> That's we really do have some fine vocals in this country, I think. Freaking Bigfoot's here. What's up, dude? Oh, man, that was phenomenal. That's great, great music. I think I heard the lyrics in that last verse, right? In America, where it's the land of the free, keep it that way, baby. You can get what you want if you got some do re me. That's a dope line. Uh, well, traveling far and I work like a slave. Oof. Uh, now I'm independent and you know I get laid. So I did hear that right. Okay. Got me a job and I got me a place. I got a stack of black coffee. Oh, how good it tastes. I said a dime is all it costs in the States for a cup of black coffee. How good it tastes. Good call for the Englishman to not talk about tea when talking about America. Yeah, good call. Uh, yeah, a lot of... You know, I hope this is not the case. Or do uh, is this song considered politically incorrect today? I actually don't care. Let's not talk about it anymore. Cause I I I love it. I love that song. <laughs> this is a track. Um, is a blues rock interpretation of the Peggy Lee classic, showcasing the band's ability ability to blend earthy gospel and soulful vocals with their hard rocking sound. You can say that again, bro. So yeah, this is one of the first super groups, kind of like your Audio Slaves, right? That that was like a group from my day, Velvet Revolver, right? Those bands were kind of coming out when I was, you know, young. Homie's vocals are incredible and their vocals are incredible. The way they go off of each other. That's a fantastic performance, man. That's that's awesome. That that was awesome. I loved that so much. What a performance. Mind blowing. The thing that's more shocking to me is why why is today October 24th, 2024? Why is today the first time I'm hearing about the about this? About Steve Marriott? Like what a voice, bro. Incredible. That's what's shocking to me like why why is that so anyway guys thanks so much for being here and hanging out what do you all think what a voice man what what a voice what a performance love it